This is the Springfield High School of Science and Technology. I'm the band director here. It's a pretty big school, 1,500 students. Springfield, Massachusetts, we have 500 students in the band. The reality is that we have a, a big school, but we're in a crisis. Most of our students are not graduating high school. We're actually in the bottom 10, not bottom 10%, but bottom 10 schools in the state. But, and I guess that's, that's, that's the big part, it's the but, there are amazing things happening here. Tell me again, what is it? I don't know. You gotta tell me, <laughs> I'm working on it. It's yeah. Kylan. Kylan, with a K-Y. K-Y-L-E-N. Kylan, Kylan. Juan? Jose, man. All right, I'm trying. We have 500 students. And we're going to learn every single one of your names because you're important. We are three names. Uh, Mr. Bernice, not Mr. Uh, Miss Karn, uh, not Miss. And Miss Peterson, not Miss. So I need, I need silence for this to make it work. All right, so here we go. There's no guarantee this is going to work. you got to give me a break. So we have um, Alfredo, uh, Justin, Jeremy. We have a very diverse population. West, uh, Kimberly, mostly Hispanic, African American. Ashley, Jordan. In my class, you'll find every ethnicity. Uh, literally, that's what, kind of one of the things that makes it unique and amazing, you know, from white, Junior, Asian, Jose, African American, Latino. Charlie, we have one class, which is pretty much uh, a representation of everybody that's in Springfield. Christian, Valerie, Tatiana, Zio Marie, Charlene, Lanasia, Jonathan, Louis, Xavier, Natalie, Dwayne, Eric, Jean, Ibrahim. Uh, by the way, no joke, if you can do that, I'll give you $20. Every single student is welcome in this room. We have students who are in wheelchairs. We have students who are, who are blind. We have students who are autistic. We have students uh, who come from all different backgrounds. But the point being, we're going to take you as you are. When you leave this door uh, at the end of today, you're going to know something that you didn't know before. And your name again? Jonathan. 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 All right, come on in. So let me tell you what happens in the course of a, a semester here, especially for our beginning students. So on day one, they're going to come through these doors. You know, they're going to be silent. They're, they're, they're going to be nervous, you know, what's, what's happening. Actually, some of them might not even want to be here. I was kind of mad because I didn't want to ban. I was like, no, I don't want it. I want to change it. Now, again, I'm going to ask you to do something in a second, and it's going to feel weird. You don't, you don't, you're not used to doing things in front of people. I want you to just let loose, right? It's OK. Not all of them are coming saying, oh, I want to you know, learn an instrument. In a second, I'm going to play a piece of music. When I play that piece of music, I want you to find the beat. And here's how to do it. You, have, you can do multiple things. You can either tap your foot. Um, if you're really shy, you can just tap your pencil or your finger. They're going to come in, they're going to sit down, and they're going to be like, what is going on in this weird place? And who's, who are these weird people talking to me? And again, I want you to be OK with moving. Um, just find the beat of the music. Imagine these students have never had any background. We're going to start with, let's move your head to the beat. That's it. Find the beat to the music. It's the ABCs of music. We are starting at letter A. Francisco, Jacob got it. Yeah. To see from there, they're going to be able to perform by the end of the year. Wes has got it. Oh, yeah. Christian's got it. Kate, Kylan's got it. Once I entered into school in ninth grade, right into that band, I didn't know. I didn't have any musical experience. I didn't know a note. I didn't know how to read. In music, we can take those beats and we have a symbol for each of those beats. And this is what the symbol looks like. Uh, these symbols are called quarter notes. A one, two, ready, clap. One, two, three, four. What's important is this, or whatever mouthpiece you have. This is really the instrument. Put your top teeth right here, right? So watch, like, put it in a little bit. 99% of our students have never played an instrument before. In many cases, have never seen or touched an instrument. Oh! <laughs> so our first day with the mouthpiece, 
We were all happy because we couldn't wait to play the instrument. But we practiced with the mouthpiece. It was a total disaster. And then the kids were just laughing because it was some horrible noises coming out. The whole program is designed to take students who've never seen, touched, heard live uh, a specific instrument and be able to play it by the end of the year. Oh! <laughs> By the end of this class, you will leave here knowing how to play your first note on your instrument. This is the foundation of every other note. Literally, this is a day you will never forget. One, two, go! First note. My first note was just awful. It was horrible. It was like a... Uh, an animal dying. It was so horrible. That class was the very first note on their instrument, so they've never played a note on their instrument. They've never made a sound on their mouthpiece. It was their very first time. It's an experience they're never going to forget. Keep trying. Press all those keys. Press all those keys. You listen to recordings of people with great tone, and it sounds so like high, but your first note's kind of really low, and you don't know if you're playing it correctly. And it's a bit frustrating, but then I realized that it is the first note and I got excited from then on, I want to learn the whole scale in one day. The thing that's most important about this moment, especially a student's first time on their instrument, is throughout their whole life, they, you know, a lot of them think, I can't do something, I can't do something, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at this, it is stuck in their brain. But literally, this is, some, for some of them, it's a moment where this is their first time in their life that they said, I can do something. And to be, to be able to share that experience with them is, is, is truly memorable and it's kind of makes, it makes the entire year, this moment. In our band, most of our students are actually labeled at risk. And the greatest percentage of students that graduate in our band are actually the at-risk students. You don't need certain grades to stay in band because we don't believe in creaming. We don't want to take the top students in the school and say, hey, look, the top students in the school are graduating. We actually take the bottom students in the school and the top students in the school and we put them together. Whether you're struggling somewhere or not, this is a place where you can grow. In terms of our, our graduation rate, a few years back it was 39%, which is the lowest it's been. Um, we're moving up on the, in the lower 40s this year, which is, which is good, but think about that. Even if you say 45, it's less than 45, but even if you say 45% of our students are graduating, that's not what it needs to be. Uh, it needs to be more. And uh, you know we're working in the right direction, which is good, and actually part of that our students in our band are twice as likely, if they stay in band for, for more than one year, for their second year, uh, they're twice as likely to graduate uh, than their peers, which is good because we don't want just students to just be able to play an instrument. We want them to succeed in every, every facet in all aspects of their life. The students in our school come from a pretty rough background. So Springfield's, it's a struggling city in many ways. We have violence, gang activity. Things such as like drugs. There was actually a murder like right after New Year's. In the area that I live in is very, very bad. You know, we have a lot of like violence going on around there. I think one of the biggest shocks for me is seeing what they have to deal with. You know, I've seen students deal with some pretty, pretty rough things. Um, you know, be it, uh, you know, abuse, drugs, um, uh, homelessness. There are a lot of challenges that students have to face. Even our school, we're on, we're on our eighth, well, not our, this is my eighth principal uh, in nine years. It's hard creating something consistent in a place that's not consistent. I feel like the band in the last eight years has really brung a certain energy to like Springfield or Springfield Public Schools because you hear about the band, it's just like, wow, they have a really amazing band and they're really going places. I want my kid in the band. After 13 days, you can play all these notes. Now it's an issue of now can you look at them and put them together? Don't let the black dots freak you out, all right? They're just notes. Everybody turn to number 31, which is a Mozart melody or as we know, Twinkle Twinkles. So everybody turn to number 31, do that quickly. <laughs> So when we started Twinkle Twinkle, it was awesome. 
some of the students we were playing, some of the students were singing the songs on they were just having fun. <laughs> Tell me, if he pressure. missed a note, did he stop? Did he put his instrument down? No. I can tell you that how many, I can tell you from what I've seen, how many students, they decide, I, I can't do this because I missed one note, so I'm gonna put my instrument down. This is like a model for life, right? You're gonna have that wrong note in there in life. Your day, well, you're gonna have one really bad day. Something's gonna happen, but are you gonna keep going or are you gonna stop? Are you gonna give up? And he didn't give up. Awesome. Awesome. That would be 100%, by the way. Go! <laughs> I like that smile. I like the smile. What we're doing here is not just music. If it, it was, if it was music alone, it's great and it's wonderful, but it, it can't be part of. It can't be the whole story. And it's a model that, you know, if I'm struggling in this, if I'm having a hard time in this, and I keep pushing through, and I can be successful here, then you can do that anywhere. You're going to come right here in the middle of this contraption, and then I'm going to give you a topic to talk about: being a role model in band, and don't ever stop or start. Ready? Go. Being a role model in band takes a lot of commitment. You have to be able to be confident like I am in front of you all. <laughs> it is not easy being a role model. It, you get sidetracked, you do, but you have to pick yourself up. You have to, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh. <laughs> we play this game with a squirt gun, and basically you had to describe the actual word and continually keep going and and not stopping because he will squirt you with the gun. And honestly, those kind of games help with skills. It helps with people, talking to people. Taking initiative, taking initiative. Taking initiative means you gotta, you gotta think of what you wanna do before you actually do it. Thank you, Omar. Like, Omar just took initiative right there, putting that plastic back here, because she knows I'm gonna stop eventually talking about initiative. And she took the initiative to protect me and the floor from getting wet, because Bernice is gonna hit me if I don't talk about <laughs> initiative enough. Initiative, initiative, initiative. Graduating high school. Graduating high school. Go. Um, graduating high school, I still have this year and two more years to go. Um, I, I'm really excited about graduating high school. Um, then I get to go to college and... Um, <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> He's basically trying to teach us how to be able to like speak without freezing up, which was great because that's another thing that we're gonna need in the future is to publicly speak. One, two, Ready, go. <laughs> The purpose of the solos are an opportunity for students to create their own music because not only do we want students to learn how to read music, we want them to be able to create on their own. Oh baby, round of applause, round of applause. I'm telling you, I'm gonna like, it's gonna make me cry at the end of the day. I'm like, this is like, this is what we want. I was kind of nervous when he asked me to play a solo, but I knew the song. I just don't play in front of everybody like that. Mm. How does it make you feel when you can pull off a solo like that? I feel accomplished. You know, like, I did something. Kiyasha's a great story because when she started, she kept thinking, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. And, um, you know, she did realize that she had this inside of her. You know, she's like every other student who says, you know, I'm not sure if I can do this at this level. And now she's, she's at the top of her game. She's a model for all the other students. Seeing them watching each other perform is the, is the spark that gets them to do it. It's not watching me or it's not watching another teacher do it. It's watching each other. It gives them that motivation to say, hey, I can do this too. This is how you transpose. You take this book out, right? We're playing C minor, you will go three, three steps. Oh, so you go one, two, three. And that's how you that's how you figure out what you're playing, what scale you're playing. So I said you're playing from mentoring a student, you get a lot of joy, a lot of joy from seeing them succeed and seeing them progress as a musician. Uh, 
I don't know how to go to the next note. I'll teach you that, though. One, two, three. So we have a program called Mentoring Through Music, and it happens every Wednesday throughout the whole year. And it's designed so that our advanced students, and in particular our student leaders, become the teachers for the day, and they lead and they mentor all the students that have never played before. Four beats each, every note to A. And then we split up into different rooms, and so we take actually half of this floor, we, we spread out, and all the leaders go to those rooms and they teach for about 45 minutes. Well, I've seen you were missing that time. You missed your C note. When I'm teaching, it helps me feel like I'm kind of being a big brother to somebody else. So um, let's try that one again, together this time. The first time I was mentoring, I was a nervous wreck. Not, no, 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 just one full stream of air. I've never had a more difficult time explaining to Buzz. <laughs> Especially since I still get nervous while playing, so playing in front of a student to teach them how to sound better is really hard. Usually people have a trouble getting the high notes. No, no low. People have trouble getting high notes? Yes. What it takes to be a mentor is patience and kindness. It's a really hard job, especially since you don't really know the person that well at the beginning. You don't know what their own weaknesses are or what they're really good at, so it's your job to find that and to build from there. So since you play C, G, C, 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 G. Ask them what, what are they having difficulties yes, with. Not play it all and if, you know, usually they say everything, but you know, you start off with the basics and go from there. Some take time and others learn it quickly. Yeah, awesome. I see freshmen now and you could tell like who is more able to do this and who isn't so sure. And those are the ones you go for. When you, you know, mentor them and talk to them, they open up to you and it becomes easier to teach them and you make a connection. And after that, you know, they become a whole new person that they didn't think they could ever be. <laughs> you got it? After the Mentoring Through Music program ends, there's pizza provided for everybody and either bus fare or bus tokens for everyone can have a way to get home safely. The school really doesn't provide any of that because the school doesn't really have that much money. There's a lot of kids in band that stays after every time for the mentoring program. And I remember one time going to Bernice's office and he, I had to wait and hear him on the phone while he paid out of his own pocket to get a whole stack of bus tokens for everybody can be able to go home. And um, listen to him calling the pizza place to order a whole bunch of pizzas. And at first I used to think the school provided all of it, but then I realized, no, he does it out of the kindness of his heart. There are two things that are going to happen today. One, you're all going to get a chance to learn how to conduct. Four basic moves, ready? Down. 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 In. In. Mm -hmm. out. 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 Up. 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 Repeat. Repeat. Up. In time. Down, in, up, out. Out, no. up. In, up. Down, down, out, out. Down, in, out, up. up. Down, down, repeat. In, out, up. Down, down in, in, out, up. up. Forever down, and ever down, and ever down, and down, ever. Down, keep going and keep down. Until the song in, ends. Out, up. Many people think of it as, okay, you just wave your hands around. I look at it as a pattern and a way to keep time as um, your heart beats. It keeps your time and it keeps you alive. It's the same thing with a conductor or a director. It keeps the whole thing alive. The reason why we have students conduct and run rehearsal, they need to take ownership of their band because it's not my band, it's their band. And so we practice times where I will literally hand over the entire rehearsal to students. We'll be taking all of our beginning students and they're going to be learning this piece called Canon Remix uh, for the winter concert. They've never played an instrument before, but by the end of their time, 
they'll, they'll be able to play something like this after three months. <laughs> This is our 22nd day meeting. It's our seventh week meeting since we meet every other day. By next class, we'll actually be able to play from the beginning all the way to the end. It won't be perfect, but at least we're gonna have something. The ninth graders here who are just beginning, to them at first, it may seem like, hey, I will never be able to learn this. I will never play a song. I will never sight read. Not bad, not bad, all right. We'll end class playing the whole song. It's the leadership team. It's the people who are devoted to this band that push them, that keep pushing them, that you know what, you can do this. And they see it in themselves and they keep going. And as lessons progress, they progress and they see it. They're like, oh man, like I'm actually playing a piece. And then within no time, they're in front of live audience. As Soon as the beat starts, I'm like, oh my goodness. I mean, I'm playing, but I'm just like, yo, I'm really playing like in a big concert like this. I'm looking to people standing up right here. She's like, yeah, Queen, got it, okay. Okay, keep that beat going, okay, that's what's up. And then I'm just like, yo, in my head, I'm just, Wow, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this, boom, boom. I can't believe. It's just crazy. So from that point on where I'm thinking, yeah, I got this in the bag. When I'm playing in a concert and I look out at the audience, I don't see people, I see support. because every single person there is has love for a certain person in the band. That's where your whole family, you know, you give as many people as you want, and the, more, and the more the merrier. So when everybody comes together and they see, and you see your son on a drum set, or you see your son on the piano, and they're playing their own little solo, you're like, that's my son, that's my daughter. Yeah, let's go, you know? It's just happy. It's like, Winterfest is just amazing. The most exciting thing that I can share with you right now, the students behind me, many of them are in a band we call Symphonic Band. Raise your hand, Symphonic Band members. Raise your hand. All right. Now check this out. They've been playing their instruments for less than 30 class days. So here we go. Without further ado, our symphonic band and concert band and jazz band combined bands, all of the SciTech band students together in our favorite song, Canon Remix. Winterfest is what really ties everything together. It is advanced band's way of reaching out to all the newcomers that you are family now, and that we care, and that we're here for you, and why not share music with each other? If it wasn't for the band, I wouldn't have any interest in school. I guess I take didn't have a band at all. Wouldn't come to school at all. I'd stay home, be in the streets doing who knows what. The SciTech band is like a home to many kids because they go home and they have their personal lives and problems and here is an escape from all that. It's 
less of reality and more of a sanctuary where you can do and be who you want to be and no one will judge you. We accept everyone. Some people would say, well, how do you replicate me? Maybe you can replicate other parts of the band program, but how do you replicate me as a teacher? And in some ways, you can't, but teachers can love their students. So if the teacher is willing to care about students, set high expectations, and realize that the students have what they need, but they need to facilitate and unlock it, then this can be replicated. What we have here in this band and what we have to offer, and it can truly be done anywhere, anywhere at all. All it takes is a devotion and the right kind of people who care about their city, about their schools, about their world. Easy go!